Innovation, a simple and essential concept. An innovative enterprise is one that introduces an innovative product or implements innovative business practices in order to gain a competitive advantage and increase its market share. In a free market economy, success depends on delivering the most desirable product or service to clients and doing so in an affordable, rapid and efficient manner. Growth capacity depends on generating added value, which can only result from innovation. This principle is universal to all business enterprises, regardless of their size and the experience of their management. What is innovation and how does it differ from invention, with which it is frequently confused? One way to explain the distinction is with reference to one of the greatest mechanical inventions in the history of mankind. The wheel. We do not know who came up with this invention or when, but we can speculate that the creative process may have looked something like this. It starts with an idea, either a fresh concept intended to resolve a particular problem or a seemingly chance intellectual construct with no clear purpose. Unless an idea like this occurs to the mind of an inventor, it usually perishes without coming to fruition, particularly if it has come out of the blue. If it does take root, it can begin to assume concrete form. This is when the first problems emerge, usually doubts about the idea's merit. It may seem impractical, too abstract, or just plain stupid. There may be far more pressing issues to worry about than chasing a fleeting dream. If the inventor is able to overcome the intellectual obstacles, he must then refine the idea by describing its potential applications and identifying the problems that it can help to resolve. At this stage, the abstract concept begins to accrue value, even though it may not yet exist in a physical form. The inventor has created an invention. In modern times, this is the point at which a patent application could be filed. But no innovation has yet taken place. New questions now need to be faced, including, will it work? Are the necessary resources available? And, who has the skills to make it work? If these questions can be answered, the inventor may now be called an innovative entrepreneur, someone who undertakes the task of transforming an idea into practical reality. The path towards the goal is littered with obstacles. There may be many failed attempts before the idea begins to work in practice and yield benefits. Success depends on persistence and a well-organized process, which includes learning from mistakes. The end result of this process is an innovation, a novel, exploitable solution that provides a specific advantage to its users. Naturally, the problems don't end there. Issues that may remain to be addressed include technological and logistical problems, securing IP rights, and coming up with marketing and collaboration solutions. An innovative entrepreneur never operates in a vacuum, although this is a subject for another discussion. For now, let us return to the problem of innovation. The wheel, the electric motor, the transistor, the aeroplane, and the global positioning system are technological breakthroughs. Innovations that have radically changed society by becoming useful or indispensable in many areas of life. Truly revolutionary innovations spawn new markets and are generally viewed as great achievements. Although they also carry much greater risks for would-be inventors and entrepreneurs who may be deterred by the prospect of a spectacular failure. History teaches us that the vast majority of innovations come about as the result of a gradual process of transforming and refining existing solutions. This evolutionary growth is often made possible by breakthrough innovations that open up new areas for the development of novel approaches. Being innovative is not about reinventing the wheel at every turn. Assuming that the goal is to transform an idea into a marketable product or service, the same result can be achieved by other means. Improving an existing invention, or, to put it another way, inventing a better wheel. Early versions of inventions are often far from perfect. The earliest wheels used for transportation, crafted from horizontal slices of tree trunks, were uneven, heavy, and relatively fragile. Innovation brought a number of improvements, 
such as making wheels from joined planks, structural improvement, using spokes, reduced weight, and the use of advanced materials, metal rims and flanges or rubber tyres. The evolution of the wheel continues today. In 2005, Time magazine named the Michelin Twheel, a wheel that doesn't need a tyre, one of the most amazing inventions of the year. Even more recent innovations were made in the development of the wheels for the Curiosity rover, which landed on Mars in 2012. Finding new applications, i.e. inventing novel uses for the wheel. It is unclear which came first. Was a potter's wheel used to make a vehicle? Or was a vehicle wheel applied in pottery? Either way, it is clear that the wheel has found countless practical applications. The windlass, a simple machine used to lift weights, the water wheel and the cog are all examples of innovative uses of the original concept. Some of them, such as the bearing, are technological breakthroughs in their own right, facilitating further improvements and innovations. Process refinement, or, in other words, proposing better ways to make the wheel. There are many possible ways to create the same product or deliver a given service. A mass-produced wheel costs less to make than a one-off, and a tooled wheel will be of higher quality than a handcrafted one. Once a product becomes a ubiquitous commodity, devising better ways to manufacture it may grant the manufacturer a solid competitive advantage. Extending a product's features is not the only way to satisfy growing client demands. If we assume that the goal of the business process is to generate added value, whether by improving quality, reducing cost, expediting delivery, extending the product range, or enhancing client support, we can conclude that innovation applies to organizations as a whole. Their internal structure, channels of communication with employees, suppliers and business partners, financial management, public relations, employee training, and many other aspects. An innovative company is always on the lookout for new innovations and remains committed to implementing them in practice. The capacity for innovation is the foundation of ongoing competitive advantage.